Hi, I'm Jed Steen, also known as Hackjack, the creator of the game Guts and Glory. I wanted to make this video for two main reasons. One, to share with you my story of how I went from knowing very little about game development to becoming a full-time independent game developer in just a little over a year. And two, as a public service announcement to all my fellow indie game devs out there, to do yourself a favor and go check out Real Illusion Software. Uh, they've got an amazing character creator program, um, animation software, mocap stuff, facial mocap stuff, automatic face mapping. The stuff that they're doing right now is helping to level the playing field between AAA studios and the small guys like us. Okay, so what is Guts and Glory? Guts and Glory is what I like to call a survival racing game. Basically, that just means you're trying to get to the finish line as fast as possible while everything tries to kill you. <laughs> well, the premise is pretty simple, the whole setting is pretty ridiculous. I mean, you've got a father and son on a bike, riding through a park with saw blades flying everywhere. You've got a family car doing crazy stunts and loops. Basically, if the games Happy Wheels and Go Simulator had a baby, it'd be Guts and Glory. I wanted to make games for as long as I can remember, but you know, then life happens and you get a real job and before you know it, you're in your mid thirties and you still haven't, uh, you're still not doing what you really love. <laughs> so at age 34, I decided to make a life changing move. I decided it was now or never for game development. In between working a very demanding full-time job, doing online college courses, being a family man, I somehow managed to squeeze in enough time to learn an hour here, an hour there, eventually had a very basic prototype of my very first game, Guts and Glory. As soon as I had something basic to show for my game, I made a quick page on Steam Greenlight Concepts just to kind of see what gamers thought of it, see if it was worth pursuing further because it was really hard to find the time to keep working on this project. Um, I posted up on Steam Greenlight and for the first uh, day or two, absolutely nothing. I was kind of devastated, um, but then on the third day, I think it was, all of a sudden it got a flood of traffic, a ton of feedback, and it rose to actually the number one position on Steam Greenlight. So I put the demo out on some YouTuber request sites and made a small little gif of the game and put it on Imgur just asking people if they want to help play test it. I put a couple of GIFs on Imgur before and they got a few hundred views, a couple of comments. So I thought, you know, maybe if I'm lucky, I'll get a dozen play testers out of this. <laughs> Instead, the post went viral, got like a million views, got shared over to Reddit and my inbox was just flooded with requests of people wanting to try this game. I was like, okay, I got this, I can handle this. <laughs> and then PewDiePie happened. Ah! What did you have me oh, really? oh, what's this? Guts and glory. So there's a game that you probably haven't heard of. It's in pre-alpha. That means I'm cool for playing it and you can suck it. <laughs> After a long break of not playing any games at all, suddenly the number one YouTuber on the internet did a new Let's Play video of my game. And it wasn't even close to being finished. I was blown away. It was insane. Over the next 72 hours, I think I got thousands of emails. <laughs> Oh, this might be my new favorite game. I was honestly overwhelmed and didn't even know what to do next. All right, oh my gosh, there are mines everywhere. So in a moment of frustration, I just threw the demo up on IndieDB.com and just said, hey, everybody have at it, go play the demo and have fun. <laughs> I thought maybe I made a mistake and I was just giving away way too much for free. But in the long run, it turned out to be a good thing. Shortly after the whole crazy PewDiePie thing, I did a Kickstarter, made a deal with a publisher, quit my day job at a good Fortune 500 company, and just took the leap of faith to go into game development full time. So I hope you find this video inspiring and show you that no matter how old you are, no matter what your background is, no matter how little time that you have, it's never too late to pursue your dream, and it, there's always that chance for a big success. Okay, let's talk Real Illusion software. One of the Kickstarter rewards that I had to fulfill was creating digital versions of the backers and putting them in the game. 
At first I thought this would be super easy. I just, you know, take a photo, map it to a 3D character model, done, right? Turned out to be a total nightmare. Trying to do this in Blender or other 3D programs was a total waste of my time. So I kept searching and until I found Real Illusion. They have a program called, what's it called? They have a program called Crazy Talk 8 that allows you to do exactly that. You just upload a photo or two, map out all the important points, click a couple buttons, and it just auto-magically generates a really high-quality 3D head mesh with those face photos mapped right onto it. There's a ton of parameters that you can tweak, you can move the lines around, you can adjust the shape. Basically, you can finesse everything until you're totally happy with it in a very short amount of time. What you're seeing here is my very first attempt at using Crazy Talk 8. Even with a less than ideal head shape and poor lighting conditions, I was able to get some pretty good results on my very first try. Once you're happy with how the head mesh looks, you just hit one button and it attaches it to a base body mesh. And from there, you can export it out to any 3D program you want or to their iClone character creator software, which is freaking awesome too. For most of my game, I used Mixamo Fuse to build my characters, but somewhere along the way, Adobe acquired them and they just ruined it. I thought I was screwed, but when I found this face mapping software, I discovered this whole big suite of software tools that were really great for game development. One of these tools was iClone Character Creator 2.0. It was basically everything I wished Fuse was. I could rapidly create any type of character I could imagine, import custom meshes and models, custom textures for materials. I could export this out to Blender or any other 3D modeling software I wanted if I needed to do further animations or export it to iClone where I could test out animations there. Discovering Character Creator 2.0 and Crazy Talk 8 was a huge lifesaver for me. I just wish I had found it sooner because it would have made the creation of all the characters in my game a hundred times easier. So that's it. If you uh, need high quality character creation animation software, I can't recommend Real Illusion enough. And if you like wacky, over the top, gory, crazy games, then go check out Guts and Glory. You can get it on Steam right now for Windows, Mac, or Linux. Um, I'll have the full 1.0 release out later this spring, and we're working on console ports for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and hopefully even the Nintendo Switch to come out sometime this summer 2018. Thanks for watching, I hope you have a most excellent day.